Okay, well, uh, oh. What the? You hear when we close the door, you heard like the water? So I was thinking like maybe it got flooded. <laughs> this is way beyond flooding. Now I don't know what's happening. Look at this! Real Captain Spirit now. Water- oh, Water Eater! Wait. Oh, look! He only sees us when we move. Do I need to be concerned? Probably. No more fear. <laughs> I have to face this monster. Yeah, no this problem. Water. Tame the beast. I'm smashing. It's working. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. That's legit. So that's all that was well, in there? That wasn't too hard. I've tamed the water beast. Yeah. This logo appears when a task has been completed. So the water beast, done. We gotta play Mustard Party 2. We have to f find this treasure. We need to assemble two parts of the map to find the way. Uh, dangerous beer cans. We've got the snowmancer, so probably something outside. Mantroid's still hiding on this planet with my full costume used as a spaceship, but we still need to finish the costume. Uh, we have the cape. We have the, the mask-ish. We need the armor. All right. All right, all right, all right. Cool. Play the game. We need the... Uh, the code for the phone, which we don't seem to have. I think it's time that we go outside. Uh, oh, or... Should we maybe try calling somebody? Let's see how this works, because we got that phone number for his, uh... Yeah, see? Um... Wait, is Reynolds... Hold on, let me check this picture again. I wonder why Dad never Nick. hangs out with Nick anymore. Yes, I don't know what Re who Reynolds is at this point. But I'm curious, so we're going to call him. What could go wrong? Hello? Hi, Mrs. Reynolds. Ah, uh, the Re- Oh! Chris. Oh. C Chris Erickson. Well, of course I know who this oh, is, Oh, it's the Chris. neighbors. What a nice surprise. Are you okay? Is everything all right? Yes. Well, everything's great. I just want to see if maybe Steven could help me add more ah, stuff to the okay, treehouse. Cool. Like when he helped Dad build it. <laughs> I want to add some booby traps. That is so sweet. I'm so glad to see you playing outside like a real boy. <laughs> well, anyway, You're like a real boy. I'll be happy to let Steven know his services are required. He loves that treehouse. Me too. Gotta keep the bad guys away. What bad guys? Thanks, Mrs. Reynolds. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what bad guys? Alright. Cool. Now, uh... This is gonna backfire for sure, 150%, but I'm doing it anyways. We're calling Audra. Welcome to Kitty Club. Ah, never mind. Yeah. Odessa speaking. Oh. <laughs> Hi. You sound like you're looking for a kitty cat tonight. Oh, yeah, I am. Uh, my dad won't let me have a cat, but I would love... Your dad? What? Christ, who is this? 
How old are you? Hello? All right, all right. So she's involved in the industry, we'll say. She's involved in the industry. Ugh, Which I we kind of guessed. Beer can smell your like tiny that. dancer and all that kind of stuff. And like feeling ashamed of her in that letter that we read. Okay, we actually want to go outside now, I think. I'm, I'm just looking for, like, where could we possibly learn what the, uh, what the code for the phone is? He's not talking to us. Uh, and I hate seeing him like this. I'm not sure that we're going to see it on, like, a random piece of paper. I'll, I'll take a quick, quick run just to see if there's anything we missed in the room. Uh, the perfume, the bed, we can just lie down, the cigarettes. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's much going on in here. Unless we lie down like something happens, but doubtful. It's probably just like when we listen to the music, but... Yeah. All right. Looks like there used to be a, a picture hanging above the bed, probably of our parents. That he has since removed, obviously. Okay, let's go outside. It's time. He's passed right out. Uh... I'm just gonna leave him. <laughs> We're just gonna leave the guy. Oh, snowsuit. Maybe this could be our armor. Actually, maybe. I guess we're gonna- we have to do all the work that, like, he's not gonna do it. Someone needs to take care of the house, you know? Extra bonus points on <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know if he's gonna care at all. That just happened. Yeah, so what do we have out back here? Like, this... Is this where the treehouse is? No. Let's see what we got going on here anyway. We know we have to do something with the beer cans and, like, target practice at some point. Ah, here's the treehouse. Okay. Let's see what we got going on in the junk pile. Oh, we do have stuff. Oh, and it is called the junk pile. <laughs> All right. Da -da 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 -da. The maze, maze of doom. doom. Ooh, Captain I like Spirit that. Captain heard about the secret treasure inside. Yeah, let's go. So we're starting to see like some, you know, alternate worlds that we're imagining or whatever. Kind of cool. Like, we went to that dark room, and now in here, all, like, spooky and ethereal. Oh, boy. Uh, go left. I saw, like, paint splatters there. I don't know if that matters. Probably not, but... We might have to retrace our steps. Let's try... Okay, there's more paint splatters, but I don't know if that actually matters. But we went left, right. It looks like 
each of these exits is actually the exact same. And like even like behind us there, you can see it appears to be the same. I wonder if we can't do this until we find the those map pages or whatever. You better look at that map again. Yeah. Okay. So there, we got to find the, a map for this. Okay. Which we don't have. So let's leave. Because the map will probably give us, like, hey, you need to go left, right, left, right, and some type of, uh... Oh. Solve it. That's cool. It's not safe out there. Yeah, Dad. I know. We'll check the mail. Some of the stuff that we've read inside the house is rather interesting, but... No way. For family fun, come play with your gun? No! Clean Harry's gun range holiday. Alright. Seems like a great family bonding event. And we do have the keys to the vehicle. So... Oh, I could use this to make some cool armor. <laughs> oh, really? We're going to be sponsored superhero. I like that. My suit is almost ready. Yeah. After I get some paint. No doubt. Power drive? I got to be careful here that like... I wonder if dad will teach me how to drive. There is a letter in the middle there. I hope Dad doesn't get in trouble because of me. This is Tamara Fallman of Beaver Creek Social Awa Social Services. As a representative of the county's elementary school districts, we'd appreciate if you could arrange to come with your son, Chris Erickson, for a meeting on Monday afternoon at 2.15 at our local office, 2775 Waters Street. If you have any questions, please call our office at 555-687-2006. Uh-oh. Social Services wants to get involved. Let's see what Power Drive does. I can't go to Man I can't go to Mantroid's planet without finishing my costume. Oh, that's like the uh, the space shuttle or whatever. This is the garage that we got the key for. Wait, how are we pulling this one off? These boxes been here forever. Oh, the, okay, okay. The key fob. I thought so, but I didn't see it in his hand, so I was like... Alright. What the hell? What made that noise? There's like a, I don't know what's in here. Something's in here with us. Combination lock. If dad used a padlock, he wants to keep me out. And we don't have a code. Same thing with the phone. So there's two four digit codes that we just don't know. Hmm, interesting. Now I can color Captain Spirit just like my drawing. Black and red, baby. We're gonna get paint all over all over this place. That's gonna be That's gonna be mad, let me tell ya. Oh yeah. That's cool. <laughs> That's legit. All right. 
Yes, it's actually Captain Spirit to the rescue. And it's time to visit Mantroid's home planet for a change. This is where Mom went to school before. Oh, we look her. at this. As principal Mrs. Emily Erickson, this is Blackwell, so obviously throwback. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I wanted to personally reach out to you and thank you for your continued support of our art program at our prestigious school. We love displaying your work along with the long list of other alumni. We have we have we all have fond memories of you here. So thank you for thinking of us, and we hope you'll come visit the campus soon and see how your contribution keeps our dream alive. Wells. I'm going to go to art school because of me. But she was already an amazing artist. Damn. We received your letter of withdrawal and resignation and first wanted to congratulate you on your forthcoming child. While we're truly happy for you and your family, we're also selfishly sorry to lose one of our most promising students and artists. Your unique and witty illustrations have been well received on campus and in the school newspaper. Uh, so we expect to see more of your work with us and others. Hopefully when you're ready, you'll consider coming back to Eugene State to finish your art degree and further inspire us. If you have any questions, please contact us. So she was going to go to this art school and had to not go because we're having us. Oh, wow. I remember when mom drew that and dad couldn't stop laughing. So she was like a, I, I don't know if comics is the right word, but stuff like this. Good night. Good night, handsome. Step two. Losing the blankets. <laughs> Step three, freezing. Honey, you got cold again. I told you to eat more fruits? What? Oh, you got a cold again. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, got it. I don't get this one. Let's I'm see. too young. Isn't it your turn, Mr. Officer? <laughs> so you hear like the hin hin who hin, and we're crying. Isn't it your turn, officer? He comes in, he's wearing, like, the, the handcuff, and, like, they're, like, role-playing. That's pretty funny. Oh, that's pretty funny. Mom and Dad always talked about how they met at school. The jock and the artist. Never judge two books by their covers is the motto of the odd couple from Eugene, each of whom is making local waves in their respective fields and why we're showcasing them in this week's Neighborhood Watch. Emily White is a cartoonist who, I guess that's a good way to put it, whose witty work about her strange life, life is strange, has been featured in print and the web, even in the pages of this paper. She hates all sports by her own claims, yet is engaged to Charles Erickson, local basketball star, who some say is headed to the Oregon Ducks. Ironically, they met at the library and found true love among the book stacks while helping each other study for their torturous finals. I'm math and she's art, says a shy blessing Charles, clearly a man in love, which are actually the same thing from opposite sides, adds Emily with a warm smile, taking her new fiancé's hand. Damn. It was weird having my mom as my kindergarten teacher. Oh, cool. Fun. She taught kids? Emma, Chris, Ethan? Ethan? Isabella, Gavin, Sophia, Logan, Hal, Olivia. My first picture. Oh, cool. It looks so tiny and weird. Maybe <laughs> I'm an alien baby. If you can only be so lucky, you know. Okay, is there anything else in here? I am seeing, like, what is that? There's, like, a hole through to the other side that maybe we'll have to check out. So we need a, we need a, a lock. Uh, four digits to unlock this lock. Four digits to unlock his phone. I'm gonna leave the light on because I'm all about wasting power, apparently. Is that just a like a window? This hole that we saw? A hole. No. Hmm. Looks like we had a visitor. That was where the uh the noise was, probably. I got tracks. Oh, I'm following the tracks. Hold on. Captain Spirit is on the case. If I had to guess, maybe a beaver? Based on the area. Oh my god. <laughs> the lake demon is rising. The lake demon. Almost as bad as the water eater. Raccoon. Found him. Okay, that's all? I can just look at him? Fair enough. Maybe if we had, like, food or something, we can lure him? There is something that we need to do here. Um, the Snowmancer. So I imagine... 
Yeah, Snowmancer. Here he goes. I can't fight Snowmancer looking like this. No fair. <laughs> How do we rebuild him? Oh, Snowmancer. This is sad. You used to be a good enemy. Look at you now. How are you supposed to train me to fight Mandroid like that? What can we do? Okay, we already have all the parts. Or a spear can nose. <laughs> that was looking timid. Look at the cigarettes in the top. <laughs> Blow them up. It's a fair fight now. Oh. Good old Western. <laughs> Pretty funny. We've got to be quick. Nice. Oh. <laughs> we did it. No, we didn't. There's gonna be something else we're gonna need to deal with him. That's fine. Let's check the treehouse. Dad won't fix this one because it's too dangerous to fix. How's it too dangerous to fix? How's this treehouse not dangerous? I can see holes in the floor. What do we got going on here? Sky pirate. Secret st Ooh, secret stash. I can't let dad find my secret stash. Ever. Maybe we should put a lock on this bad boy. <laughs> Open sesame. It's gonna work at some point, let me tell ya. Okay, so what do we got in here? Secret decoder, comic strips. These are probably mom's, right? I loved watching Mom. What are you cooking comics? for me, my sweet Valentine? It's your favorite dish. Pizza! Yeah, we... Yeah, okay. Okay. These are my favorite baseball players. Even if I don't understand the stats. <laughs> Noah Raymond, John McClanahan, and Scott Cicero. Maybe I can use this. To oh, hold on. Or what did he say? Maybe I can use this to read the map. Read the map. All right. So th this is one of them, I guess. I think we needed two of these. Now I can use this to reveal the full map to my next adventure. My worry is I don't even think we have a map yet. Or am I crazy? Harry did say mean things about Dad, but I can't let him see this. Dear Mr. Erickson, I wanted to let you know that your son Chris got into a small fight with my son Harry Sorber and his friends after school this week. Chris claimed they were saying inappropriate things about you, but Harry is not that kind of child, of course, and only knows you through me. As you might know, Harry is an honor student and decorated Boy Scout. Maybe you should talk to Chris about his behavior. If this bullying continues, I'll be forced to speak to his school. Okay, Brett. This is my worst report card. I'm doing better now. Okay, so math, not great. Physical education, pff, struggling. English, struggling. History, struggling. Elective art, though, nailed it. All right. We're an art kid. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Okay, what else we got in here? Got the lookout. Oh, here's... Oh, no. Well... Maybe I could take one little puff. Uh, do we really want to? Spiral our life out of control. <laughs> Sky Pirate, what's the situation since your last report? 
Did the storm cause any damage? No, Captain. The magnetic field protected us from any harm. We're lucky to have you. Keep up your good work. Yeah, good job. Oh. Dad keeps telling me this is a girl's doll. Is this supposed to be the so thing what? from... She's the ice queen. Frozen? That's Noctarius' son. He looks like his dad. I'm just going here and chill like all day. What should we do with the cigarette? Um, I don't know. We'll see. I'll hold on to it for now. We have an old bowl and a lighter up here for some reason. Which would, I would, ins I would insinuate like, oh, we smoked cigarettes before, but it doesn't sound like we have, so I'm not sure what those are doing up there in the first place, you know? Okay, so we need to find... It, it sounds like... It sounds like we have what we need. Hold on, let me check this. Oh, this is just all of the documents. So, like, this thing should decode um, the map, but... I don't actually have a map, I don't think. I need to assemble the two parts of the map to find the way. Maybe it's back in our room or something? I'm not sure. There's graffiti Jerks. here. Like people don't drink in bars around here. Did I say wino? Wait, what? Jerks. Like people don't drink in bars around here. W-I-N-O? That's as close as I can see. Let's see if going in here... Uh, gives us an option to like Yeah, see I don't think we have it. I don't think we have the option yet There must be a map the other part we still have to find so I'm gonna leave from here Find that other part to combine and then uh, we'll have a clear path through there Let's go back in the other, the only other option that we have is to uh, try to get into his phone, but we need to unlock stuff. Uh, full costume, you can use the spaceship, which is the car. This beer can practice, um, maybe? If we can grab the beer cans that we brought outside. Set up range, yeah, here we go. Nothing can escape the deadly aim of the beer hunter. Maybe we need to go back inside and get that uh, little air gun. Or maybe we have another weapon. Our mind. Good. Nice pyramid. Like that. Oh, snowballs. Naturally. Right trigger to fire. Huh. Yes. Oh, did we just hit the window? <laughs> That's gonna be pissed. I wonder if I can knock both of these down. I'm gonna guess no. Huh. Oh! Pow. Got him. Blam. I'm gonna go pro. Man. Pro ball player. Make dad proud. All right, cool. So we did that. Um, only I can stop the snowmancer. I want to just check to see. It's it's really strange that we haven't found any of these um, codes, you know. But I'm wondering. So 
We do have his phone number, and I'm wondering if maybe the last four digits could be his cell phone code. It's possible. Possible. I'm going to take a look at what that is. Um, Chris, the these are the most important six, three, numbers seven, for you on this list. Two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 6372. Yeah. We'll give it a shot. 6372. No. Okay, I'm going to try Audra's uh, thing that I wrote down earlier. It's 2668469. Doubt it, but. No. Okay. It could also be a date, uh, something relevant to. Um, something relevant to our mother, perhaps? Could be maybe 2005 when he was the, like, MVP or whatever, or the champion. I'm going to try it. What do you have to lose? No. All right. Cool, it's working great so far. Uh, where are we at here? Okay, so the game is done. And wake him up. Let's do our, uh, let's go on our little adventure. Let's start the car. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be safe. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to, like, oh, wait a sec. Okay, we can't get up there. Let's Here do I it. come, Mantroid. Come on, let's get going. This is Captain Spirit. Cool, hey, you like hear the hydraulics? Are you there, Sky Pirate? Captain Spirit, I read you loud and clear. Are you sure you want to go on this dangerous mission? Oh, yeah. Don't worry about me. Mantroid is the one in danger. Gotta do a quick system check first. Instrument panel, check. Force field, check. Proton missiles, check. Escape pod, check. Windshield wipers, check. Everything looks good. Start the launch. <laughs> Escape pod, check. Windshield wipers, check. Not everything's been changed in the spaceship. Speed. What's that ahead? Oh no, meteor shower. Turn on the force field. Too late. Emergency! SOS! Crash landing! Ah! Oh boy. Smooth flight. I wonder how many ships Mantroid has crashed on this planet. Never mind. I landed safe. Time to explore! So now... Oh cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. The outside is no longer the outside. The planet is so dark, and the sky is so red, like blood. No wonder, man. So Troy cool. Lives here. But how could anyone live here? Kind of sad and lonely. When it like when we first stepped out, did we, was there something on the ground that we saw, or is that just my imagination? It looks like it was my imagination. Whoa, that's creepy. What's that sound? This is our on alert walk. Something is coming. <laughs> Or somebody. Let's walk to the light. I'm sure that'll be safe. Ooh. Mantroid, show yourself, you coward! Come on, Mantroid. Where is he? Look at us. We are definitely ready for battle. 
Oh, this is like the, uh... So this is our actual street corner. I remember we we either saw it or we read it and it was like Asteroid Drive or something. Which is pretty cool. Asteroid or... I can't remember if that's exactly what it was. But this is like part of the real world seeping into our imagination, right? It's cool. Hey man, Mantroid actually feels like he might be pure evil. <laughs> Whoa. No! I can't let you live. Oh no. Don't give in. Don't give in. Yeah, Asteroid Drive and Mantle Street. What the? What the? You will pay for what you did, Mantroid. <laughs> I swear. Mantroid? What the hell? So we definitely went there. But, uh, we didn't, like, defeat him or anything. But he still got the better of us, it seems. Spirit Mobile. That same letter. Just inspecting. Okay. Oh, nope, we're good. Dad doesn't get in trouble because of me. We're good. Okay, so maybe we should go and, uh, maybe we should go and see that, that street sign. Is that possible? Wait, that would be this way? But I'm guessing we can't go on the street, can we? It's not safe out there. No. Yeah, Dad, I know. I wonder what the significance of that is, if anything, you know? I'm also, I'm still thinking about what could those codes be. Maybe let's go inside. We still haven't found the other piece of that map, either. I'm gonna take a look in our room again. Uh, then we're gonna talk to Dad, wake him up. And see if we can get some info. Because there's still, like, a bunch of stuff we just don't know. If there's anything around here it might be hiding. We did find his keys in, like, a super, like, sketchy spot. Do we have the map in here? Drawing, Mantroid's team... Oh, right here. The whole time. Tell the Captain Spear to put these pieces together. Okay, so what? Let's see, how is this working? Gotta line up these circles, or no? Maybe not. Oh, hold on. Hmm. I have to place it right. Do one of the circles need to line up? Okay, so let's let's just take a look at the house here. So first of all, uh, here's home base, the house. Here, it ha must have to go like this. Yeah, there we go. The treasure map is not secret anymore. It's mine. So, flying fortress, home base, uh, 
Sea of Darkness. Castle Fireness. Okay, so looks like we go inside the maze. We go left, right, left, left. Left, right, left, left. In order of those numbers. Right? Left, right, left, left. Sorry. You're too cute to fight evil. It's funny. We didn't see that thing the whole time we were in this room. I'm not surprised. All right. Left, right, left, left. Good. Let's see what's in there. That's passed out hard. It's a hard pass out. It'd be really cool if we found some of those uh, digits, but uh, man, I have no idea where those could be. Maybe we find some in here, just for whatever reason. Alright, so left, right, left, left. Actually, I think we might have been like, so we got half of it right by guessing at the very beginning. I think we went left, right. Then I was just going in circles, I think. Here we go. Saturday's homework, who's the boss? <laughs> You'll never see us again. It's really sad. smile damn that's so tough so that was the treasure um man mustard party 2 but we can't unlock his phone um snowmancer i have to figure out a way to stop him oh you know what i wonder if the cigarette if we light the cigarette we, we made a comment about like blowing him up and I wonder if that cigarette being lit could help us with that. Let's actually try that approach. I almost wonder if for the phone we needed to like bug dad enough to so be like, just play your game or something, you know? That's kind of what I'm thinking that could be a situation. <laughs> Maybe we should keep it pretend. Like Dad. Oh boy, we're doing this. We're gonna burn down this place, aren't we? Oh boy. <coughs> oh. Oh, man. Disgusting. Stop. Yeah, seriously. 
Ugh. Gross. Can we take that lighter, though, I wonder? Hmm. Nothing else up here. So I'm not sure what that does for us, but maybe nothing. I don't know. Because we don't get to take the lighter. Now the Snowmancer is ready for battle. How do I battle with him? I don't know that I can. Maybe we have to get one of the... Maybe we have to get a shovel or something? Because we had that shovel at the beginning, but... At the beginning of uh, coming outside, I should say. Otherwise, I'm just going to wake up Pops and see. Or maybe we get a weapon from our stash in our room. For this ultimate snowman battle. 2018. Throw down the century. Prime time. MGM Grand Live. Red corner. Obviously Captain Spirit. Blue corner. Evil, evil snowman. Makes a lot of sense, if you think about it. No, I still can't get any weapons. I've read this one so many times. When the, where the strange things went. I miss Hal. Oh. He feels like he's so far away, even though he lives on the other side of town. Okay, well, uh... Yeah, okay, well, let's wake up Pops. Dad. You sleeping? Something like that. Hey, wake up. Dad, come on. Huh? What? Your game's over, Who's bro. That? Who's that? Dad, it, it's just me, Chris. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, buddy, okay? Jesus. <sighs> Jeez. <Dad>! What the? <sighs> Fuck! Dad. Are you okay? Do I look okay? No. No. <laughs> I tripped. Can't even watch one goddamn game. <sighs> Holy moly, he's in it. Fuck! Okay. Okay. That's just great. Oh, I think I sprained my foot. Shit. Chris, why did you wake me up? Well, I don't know. You told me to wake you up. I thought, I thought you said the pine tree. <sighs> pine tree? You said we were going I to get the goddamn walk tree. In my own house, man. You should be careful when you're, you know, oh, man. when you wake up. Don't be a smart ass, Chris. I'm not in the mood right now. <laughs> yeah, Dad. Okay. Jesus Christ, who is that? Go answer. If it's some salesperson or some church group, you just close the door on them. It's nobody's business. This is our castle, and it's our family. Right? Right. Uh-oh. Oh, my. Look at you. Who's this? What kind of costume is that? Is this the woman that we called? I'm Captain Spirit. Of course you are. We need all the superheroes we can get. And how are you doing, Chris? Good, Mrs. Reynolds. Yeah, it's Reynolds, okay. Just... Just... Just playing. Just, just playing. Just... Hanging out playing video games. You boys and your video games. <laughs> you should play games outside like we used to. I was. Like your Did dad you not see used me? To. Oh, I know, I know. I'm old. So, anyways. But I did see you clearing that snow off the front porch. So good of you. Actually, I was going for a nice walk and I thought I heard a loud noise over here. Is everything okay? Uh, frick. 
Um... We didn't hear. Oh, yeah, God. Of course. We didn't hear a noise. Are you sure? Lordy, I thought, I don't know, but it was loud. And there's no other houses around. You probably heard me and my dad watching the game. He kind of go crazy, so. Hmm. You're not the only one. Oh, I feel so bad. I must be hearing things. Yeah, maybe. I hope you have something else planned for today. I wanted to fix up the treehouse. Remember when I called Maybe you? Maybe Steven could come by and help? Well, that sounds like a fun job for a father and son. Now, my dad's a bum. <laughs> he's not good. <laughs> uh, he's busy. Oh, my dad wants to. But he's super busy today. Yeah, watching Too that game and all. busy on a Saturday to help you with the treehouse? Yeah, he's tired from work and stuff. Plus... He's got his She's like all up in our Maybe grill he here. Maybe should support his son instead. Ooh, savage. There's always another game, right? This is a pretty big game, and he promised to help me later. You're a good son, Chris. Thanks, Mrs. Reynolds. Listen, Chris, I'm only steps away from your house. If you ever feel scared... Oh man. You can come visit us anytime. She's trying to help night. for sure. Like she's Understand? We're here for you. Okay. Sure. Thanks. Thanks, Claire. I promise I'll see you later. So oh, what did that no. nosy bitch want? N nothing. Oh, nothing, huh? I was listening. I heard it all. You well, then why are you asking me? I did get rid of her. I tried. Man, I bet you want to tell her what a shitty dad you have. Huh. No, she just wanted to say hi. I didn't say anything, Dad. Jesus. I swear. Dad, please believe me. Jesus, stop that whining. You're not a baby anymore. Oh, Boo-hoo, Daddy. Believe me. Grow up. But I... You're just... Just like your mom. Every time I look at you, I tell me you talk. Stop it. I, just, just, I see your face. Why? And if it wasn't for you, she would have never taken the car that day. Oh, really? Never. It was our fault? I mean, it's not oh, obviously. Hey, Chris, look, hey, I didn't mean that, buddy. Yes! Uh, yes, you did! No, listen, Chris! Whoa! Oh no! Oh shit! What?! It's got shivers, man. That's crazy. Wow. Oh, that's the end? Oh, we didn't find those things. That's crazy. That's okay. That's a cool story, man. I like that. It's a short little experience, but uh, does a really good job of like painting that family picture pretty quickly. So, uh, 
mom dies. Sounds like she wouldn't have taken the car if it wasn't for us. For, what, for whatever reason, she was going to get us or something. She dies, and cops aren't doing anything about it. Uh, he starts looking into it, doesn't get any information. Now he's a drunk, he's dating this, I don't know, somebody in like the adult industry. And I don't even know if that's like, I don't think that's a big deal. Um, we didn't get into his phone. I, a couple of things that I'm thinking about how to get into his phone or maybe find those codes or like, so number one is maybe if we bugged him enough at the start and kept saying like, dad, 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 maybe he'd be like, just go and do something, play with my phone or whatever, right? And then we could maybe get in there. Or if we shoot him with the gun, maybe, I don't know. Um, the other thing is if we would have called maybe the pizza guy, then maybe pizza would come, we'd have to pay. And he'd be like, hey, just get my wallet, use my pin, and then the pin would unlock the phone too. That's the, oh, those are like outlandish ideas that I think may have happened, but I have no idea. Um, I don't know if this game has a, a thing where you can like load certain like checkpoints within it. That'd be kind of interesting to try that out. But um, yeah, anyways, you guys, if you know, uh, feel free to, uh, to let me know how it's done. I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna play this game on your own, it is free. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. This was, um, this is really cool. I'm not sure what Life is Strange 2 is going to be about. If I had to, like, infer, um, it could be something to do with this woman who's died, and there might be some other stuff, um, there might be some, like, some world around that that's happening, but I'm not sure how the kid's going to be involved, if anything. Like, I really have no, I don't have any solid ideas of what, uh, Life is Strange 2 is going to be about based on this. Um, but either way, this was a pretty cool, neat little experience. And I appreciate the fact that it was like short. Um, I also wonder if like we went when we got into our spaceship in our full armor or whatever, we go out there and uh, we don't see the, the enemy, Mr. Mandroid or whatever. And then he just like chokes us and we come back. I don't know if there's like a different thing that can go down there, um, but to my understanding, there's a lot of different like um, outcomes and ways to get this stuff done. So, either way, I enjoyed that experience. Really cool. Kind of gets me excited for what's possible. <laughs> the Doge gets me excited for what's possible with Life is Strange 2. Um, they've even changed some of their systems and like how you interact with the items and him having the superpowers and stuff. Really cool. Um, you could argue that maybe at the end there, that's not even a real, like, maybe he does have powers, maybe he doesn't, but that simulated slowdown could have just been, you know what, we hit the, the snow, it wasn't that high, it was fine, we just kind of imagined that we, like, slowed ourselves down and saved ourselves or whatever. I'm not sure. I have no idea. I'm just theorizing, and I'm, I'd be really curious to hear all of your guys' thoughts. There's probably a lot of little throwbacks to Life is Strange. We saw a couple of them. Uh, some of them I probably didn't notice. Um, but some of you guys are like diehard into that franchise, so it'll be interesting to hear your thoughts. Anyways, this leaves us with a lot of questions. Leaves me with a uh, good feeling. I felt uh, pretty bad for the kid early. Felt pretty bad for the kid at the end. Um, but uh, it was it was nice to kind of get to experience those highlight moments with his mom and seeing that memory box. I'm really glad that we found the uh, the treasure map from the room. And uh, yeah, really cool experience. Really cool experience. And. Uh, I'm excited to hear your guys' thoughts on it. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. And uh, take care. Bye for now.